If you have a WordPress website and you want to make it easier for your visitors to navigate and explore that website, you should really consider using a mega menu. A mega menu is like an upgraded version of your normal menu. You can add a whole lot more than just texts and images onto your mega menu. You can add widgets, images, galleries, and a whole lot more. This can make it a lot easier for your customers and visitors to navigate through your website, allowing for a much more enjoyable and engaging experience. And in this video, I'll show you how to create an amazing mega menu in just a few easy steps. Let's get started. All right, here we are on my computer. And before we get started, I just want to quickly mention that the method we'll be using in this video is by using Astra Pro. Astra Pro is a paid add-on, and even though there are some free alternatives out there that you can use to create your mega menu with, I found that using the Astra Pro method was the simplest and most beginner friendly, and that's why I wanted to demonstrate that in this video. First, let's go ahead and take a look at some examples of some great mega menus. So first we have ASOS.com, a clothing website. And as you can see at the top, we have a bunch of different mega menu designs. They really take advantage of the mega menu to showcase the different types of products they have on offer. This one in particular is really cool because they have some product categories with some images, some larger images right here, like icons, and they have some big buttons right here as well. And not only is this design really interesting and engaging, it will also allow the visitors to find exactly what they're looking for very easily. Another example we have here is on Sony.com. You can see down here, we have a very clean looking mega menu that showcases all the different categories of products they have. And you also have some buttons down here and a few images down here as well with some links as well. So you can kind of see how a mega menu is used and how you can take advantage of a similar mega menu as well. All right, let's go back onto our WordPress website. And this is the website we're going to be using for the demonstration of this video. All I've done is install the Astra theme on top of a clean install of WordPress along with this starter template you see here. And starter templates are a library of beautifully designed, professional and fully functional websites that you can install in just a click of a button. As you can see, this one right here is fully functional. It has all this content, all the design, everything's been done for you and imported in just a few clicks. And this one right here is for a t-shirt printing or custom printing website and e-commerce store. And I thought it'd be really cool to add a mega menu up here to showcase the different products they have on this website. So up here, we see our regular menu, and what I want to do is to have it so that when we hover over all products right here, our mega menu pops down, showing some of the products that we have on offer on the website. Awesome. So to begin adding our mega menu, let's go into our WordPress dashboard. And here we are on our WordPress dashboard. And the first requirement for this tutorial is actually having the Astro Pro add-on installed. If you don't already have the Astro Pro add-on installed, it's really easy to do so. I'll leave a link for you in the description below on how you can install the Astro Pro add-on. Once the add-on has been installed, activated and your license key has been activated, all you have to do is go into the appearance tab on the left hand side and go and click on Astro options. And this is the Astro options menu and right in the middle of the page, you might notice a big list of different items. And these are all the Astro Pro modules that come with Astro Pro. All of these add a whole lot of extra functionality onto your WordPress website with Astro Pro. And the one we're interested in is the nav menu right here. And on the right hand side, we can go ahead and press activate. There you go, our nav menu has now been activated and we can start building our mega menu. To do that, let's navigate into menus right here on the left hand side. And here we are on the menu creation page. Let's go and begin creating our new mega menu. And like I described earlier, what we're going to be doing is adjusting this header menu right here. And we're going to be adding a mega menu on top of the all products menu item. So back in our WordPress dashboard, let's go ahead and open up the main menu right here. Under this drop down, we see main menu, primary menu. We can select that. And as you can see, it shows you all the items on that main menu. The one we want to adjust is the one here, all products. If I drop this down, because we've activated the nav menu module within Astra Pro, we now have the Astra menu settings button right here. Let's click on that. And right here we have our Astra menu options for that item. And the first one we want to check is this one here, mega menu. And you guessed right, we can go ahead and press enable mega menu right here. And that brings us a lot of different options that we can work with. Let's go through them one by one. First thing you can do is adjust the mega menu width. When I drop that down, you have a bunch of different options you can use. We can configure them later on. For now, we're going to leave it as content. And down here, you can also change the heading color. We're going to leave that as is. And you can also modify the background color and or add an image onto your mega menu as well. So over here, we can change the background color for that. We can add a background image and we can set the parameters for how we want to display that background image as well. We're going to leave those for now. And down here, we can also override the colors for this mega menu. So here is the text link color, hover color, as well as the column divider color. Let's go ahead and select some colors for that now. So for the text color, we're going to go with, let's have a look at the website. We'll go with a dark gray, something like that. 
And for the hover color, let's make it go into an orange color, just like the rest of the website, a reddish orange. And we're going to do the same for, we're going to copy that hex code here for that orange. And we're going to paste that into column divider color as well. If you already know the hex codes for the colors used on your website, you can always enter those right here and use that on these options as well. And down here, highlight labels. I'll just show you quickly what that does. You can add a little label beside the menu item in your menu, something like little label that says new. I'll just quickly demonstrate how it looks. We can go ahead and type in new just for the demonstration. And first we can adjust the highlight label color and that's the text on that label. I'm going to change it to white. And we also have highlight label background color. So let's go ahead and change that to something really obvious. So I'm going to pick blue and we're going to leave that as is. And down here, we just have some options to adjust the margin and padding for that menu. Let's press save right here and check out what it looks like now. And don't forget to press save menu right here under the menu options. Save menu. Menu has been updated. Now we can go and refresh our front end home page and see what it looks like. There we go. There's that label we just talked about. It's added in in blue with the white text. So if you have some new items on your mega menu or normal menu, you can really highlight it and bring some attention to those items by using this label here. But now we can just go ahead and disable it. I just wanted to show you what that does. So again, we can go back into all products, drop that down, Astro menu settings. And down here, we can just change these to clear, clear, and remove the text as well and press save. Awesome. And now I'll begin adding items that we want on our mega menu. And that way it will show up on our front end as well. I'm just going to minimize this here. Let's go ahead and create a custom menu item right here. So we're going to create a custom link on the left hand side. And for the URL, I'm just going to copy and paste the URL of our website just for demonstration purposes. And on the text, I'm just going to write clothing. And hopefully you can see what I'm trying to do as I demonstrate right here. So I'm going to add a clothing sub item right here. And I'm going to do the same thing and add another one called accessories, just like that. And that shows up down here once we add it. And I'm just going to drag it and drop it as a sub item underneath all products. As you can see, we now have clothing and accessories all as sub items underneath all products. And if I drop clothing down and go into Astro menu settings once again, you can see that we have a different set of options within this one. That's because this is a sub item underneath all products. And we have an option up here. This is the one we're looking for. Make this menu as a column heading. And that's what we want to do. This is going to be a heading for some different options that we're going to list just below that. And here we can choose a column header separating color. I'm going to paste that hex code that we have from earlier, that orange color just there. And you have some options here as well where you can disable the link. You can hide the menu label and description as well. So let's go ahead and actually disable the link here. So whenever someone clicks on that, whenever someone clicks on the clothing menu item, it's not actually going to do anything. We're going to leave content source as is for now. You also have the option to once again add a label to that menu item as well. We're going to leave that as well and we're going to press save. And out here, we're also going to press save menu once again as well. And we're going to do the same thing in accessories as well. Let me just fast forward. As you can see, with an accessories menu item as well, I've made this a heading, I've added the color, and I've also disabled the link. So let's go ahead and press save down here and save here as well. So let me just quickly show you what it looks like now. If I refresh the front end home page, we have all products right here. When we hover over it, we see our new mega menu. It's slowly starting to take shape. And now we have our headers right here and we can begin adding some things underneath those. So let's go back into our menu settings here. Now let's try and add some products underneath these headings here. If you already have a WooCommerce website, you can easily select the products on that website and add them as menu items here. But I currently don't have them set up. So I'm just going to add some more custom links. Let me just fast forward a little bit after I've added in some products. And there we go. I've just added a bunch of products right here. So we have t-shirts, hoodies, cardigans, and so on. And what we can do now is actually rearrange them and put them as sub items underneath clothing or accessories. Let me just do that now. So I'm just dragging and dropping them underneath clothing as a sub item. There we go. I've just added these four items underneath clothing. They look good to me. And we're just going to add some more underneath accessories as well. Just like this, I'm just dragging and dropping them just underneath accessories as a sub item of accessories, which is actually a sub item of all products. I hope that makes sense. And I'll just delete this last one here just to keep them even between the two. There we go. We have four items within each sub item for clothing and accessories. I'm just going to press save menu right here. And now let's go ahead and take a look at what our menu looks like. So once again, I'm going to refresh our front end home page. There we go. Our mega menu is looking a lot better. We have our items right here. We have all the different products underneath clothing. We have some products underneath accessories as well. And I just feel like this mega menu is missing one more thing, and that's some images. So what I'm going to do now is show you how you can add some images onto your mega menu to make it look a little bit more like the one we saw on ASOS's website. Back in our menu options here, 
Once again, I'm going to create a custom link. And for this one, I'm just going to call it Featured Products, just like that. I'm going to press Add New, and that should bring it down here. And instead of adding them as one of the sub items under clothing or accessories, I'm going to put it on the same level as accessories and clothing right here. And instead of adding more menu items underneath, we can now expand this right here and go into Astro Menu Settings. And remember the setting we had here, Content Source. We're going to open that up. And from here, we have options to add custom text, a template. This is really cool because you can add any posts or reusable block templates straight into your mega menu right here. If you really want to get creative with it, you can actually bring in pre-designed templates and load them into your mega menu. But for this video, let's go into this drop down once again and go into widgets. And this is where it gets really cool because you have a whole ton of different widgets you can add onto your mega menu. You have pages, archives, images, audio, gallery, and so much more. You can test these out and really play around with what you want on your mega menu. For this video, let's go ahead and add an image right here. There we go. Once we've selected image, we can go ahead and press add widget. And over here, we can expand this image one right here. And then we can click on this button to add an image. I'm just going to look through the media library. And here we have all the content that's been imported as part of the starter template onto this website. And I'm going to go ahead and press one of these images here to really showcase some of the printable t-shirt products that we have on the website. I really like this image here with the peace sign and skeleton peace sign. It looks pretty cool. And here we can add a title to that. Let me just write custom tees like that. And if you want, you can also add a link down here. So when someone clicks on that image, that could take them to a page like the product page for this t-shirt right here. Let's go ahead and press save. And now we've saved our image. Don't forget to press save down here as well. And once again, save outside here as well. Save menu. That's all done. Let's go back onto our website. Refresh. As you can see, we now have our featured column right here with the image we just added. There's a little bit of a formatting issue here with the text being a little bit larger than the menu items. You can always adjust those within your WordPress customizer settings. But for now, I think that looks pretty good. I'm just going to show you one more widget before we wrap up this video. And I think we also need to add a separator between the featured heading and the rest of the content in this column. Let's go back here onto our menu options. And again, within the featured settings, press Astro menu settings right here. And again, just like the other headings, we want to check this option here, make this as a column heading. We can select the color once again, and we can also disable the link. We're going to save that. Here we go. And next, like I said, we're going to add another item right beside the featured image. So we're going to create a custom link once again. For this one, let's just call it summer styles, something like that. We're going to add that to the menu and we're going to drag it and keep it on the same level as featured accessories and clothing, just like that. And if I expand that, we have Astro menu settings. I'm going to quickly do the same things to make it a header as well. There we go. I've enabled the heading, added the color and disabled the link. And once again, we're going to go into content source and go into widget. And this time, let's go ahead and add a gallery widget right here. Here we go. Press add widget. Here we have our gallery widget. If I drop that down, we can begin adding the images we want on our gallery. So for this one, let's go ahead with some mugs. So I'm going to select this yellow one and the blue one right here. I'm going to create a new gallery on the bottom right. And we can also give some captions to these as well. I'm going to call it yellow blue, just for an example right there. I'm going to give those, those names as a caption. And then I'm just going to go and press insert gallery down at the bottom right here. There we go. If you want, you can add a title right here as well. I'm just going to leave them as is just to show you what's possible. And I'm going to press save and save in the Astro menu options. And once again, save menu out here as well. Awesome. That's all good to go. Now back on our home page, let's hit refresh and let's hover over all products. And there we go. And I think that looks really cool. We've added our new summer styles column. <laughs> I know I called it summer styles, but I ended up choosing mugs. But we see a little bit of formatting issue here. And what's happening there is all the content on this mega menu is trying to fit within the constraints of this container here. So what we can do is try to modify that to expand it a little bit to give these a little bit more breathing room. And I actually like how it looks without the title we added here. So let's go ahead and remove this as well. So let's quickly go back here under featured. That's where the image was. I'm going to Astro menu settings. And if I drop down the image settings here, we can delete this title and I'm going to press save. And if I go back at the top here, we can drop this down and we can go into Astro menu settings. And remember the setting we saw here, mega menu width. And currently it's set to the width of the content on the page. If we drop that down, we can set it to menu container width, which is going to be the size of the menu. So it's going to be from here to here. So that's actually going to be much smaller. What we want to do is make it a little bit larger. So we can either go with a full width one or we can go with a custom width. 
I'll just show you what the full width looks like. Press save, save menu once again. And there we go, that's what our full width one looks like. And honestly, I think that looks really good. And finally, let's go back into the summer styles menu and adjust the gallery widget we saw earlier. And here within Astro settings, we have our widget here, the gallery widget. If I drop that down, we can edit the gallery. And what I'm gonna do here is actually change it from three columns to two. Let's go with that. And that should look a lot better on our website now. And hopefully that also solves the issue with the caption. Refresh on our home page and moment of truth. Let's go have a look. And there we go. Here's our mega menu. As you can see here, we have all the content. They look really good. And finally, our mug section looks pretty good as well. So what I've done is instead of having three columns, I've just made it two columns. So they have a little bit more breathing room. And I think the icon size looks a little bit better in this size as well. And again, because we set our menu to be full width, if you wanted to add any more content, you still have space to do so. And that's it. That's how you create a beautiful mega menu on your WordPress website. If you had any questions about any of the content covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And that's it for our tutorial. But if you want to learn even more about the Astro theme, you can check out our full Astro tutorial right here. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo over here. Thank you so much for watching. May the force be with you.